Preventing blood shortages is a constant challenge for community blood centers. Blood shortages, especially during the summer and long holiday periods, impact the ability of hospitals and their healthcare teams to care for trauma victims, perform surgeries, and administer life-saving therapies to patients in need. When people are asked why they don't give blood, the most frequent responses are, no one ever asked me, I don't have time, or it just isn't convenient right now. But no one wants to hear that they or someone they know may be at risk because there isn't enough blood. The truth is, the only blood that saves lives is the blood that people like you give. To make sure there's a stable and sufficient supply of blood, community blood centers employ a staff of well-trained professionals efficient in the art of asking people to give blood. Well, we are in an emergency situation right now, and if, is there any chance you could come into the center again and help us now? They're called donor recruiters. Donor recruiters are the main link between the arm of a blood donor and the arm of a recipient. It's their job to find and recruit enough healthy individuals to ensure that hospitals have the right components in the right blood types in the right amount at the right time. Donor recruitment happens on two levels. The first is to reach out to current and potential individual donors using tools like telephone calls, postcards, flyers, advertising, and public service announcements. The second is to secure businesses, schools, faith communities, and civic organizations as blood drive sponsors. In many areas, the majority of the local blood supply is collected at blood drives. By being where the people are, on-site blood drives make it convenient for people to give. The key to a successful blood drive is the commitment of the sponsoring organization. Saying yes is just the first step. When an organization agrees to sponsor a blood drive, top leadership promises to actively support the drive and assigns a volunteer from within the organization to coordinate the logistics. And this is the most important thing, to actively recruit the group's members to give blood. Successful blood drive coordinators put together a team from within their organization to handle all aspects of the blood drive. Everything from making sure the location is ready or arranging for parking for blood center staff to putting up posters or planning donor refreshments and recognition items. But like the coordinator, for these volunteers, the most important job is making sure everyone is asked to make an appointment to donate. The best invitation is face to face, but, but telephone calls and personal emails also work well at established blood drives. Donor recruiters know that the energy and expertise of an organization's volunteers ensure a blood drive's success and make the blood drive more fun for everyone. Because someone needs blood every three seconds, recruiting enough blood donors is a never-ending task. The blood that was collected yesterday is the blood that will be ready to transfuse tomorrow. The blood on the hospital shelves today is available for patients because someone took the time to make a difference two days ago, a week ago, or a month ago. We all expect that blood will be at the hospital if we or any of our loved ones should need it. However, we must find more blood donors to meet the increasing need for blood. Currently, fewer than 5% of the eligible population gives blood on a regular basis. In addition, long-time donors may become unable to give if they develop health problems as they grow older. More and more people travel and some destinations have an unusually high rate of certain diseases that may be transmitted by transfusion. Malaria, for example. Travelers who visit those areas are temporarily not eligible to give blood. Other donors may come in contact with a virus that permanently defers them. New donors are needed to take their place. In addition, current blood donors often could give more frequently. Most regular donors give only once or twice a year and could safely give twice that often. Today, the only source of blood is the generosity of a blood donor. The person who knows that saving a life is absolutely worth their time.